Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California. My channel is mainly about farming. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> If you're new here, this is Bo, my rooster. And I recently got another rooster um, that you can hear. But he has been limping. He does not have bumblefoot. He doesn't have any broken legs. It's kind of been a mystery, but I actually spoke with someone the other day that I knew um, had taken care of a rooster that almost died. Um, it had gotten really bad frostbite from someone else and she took it in and it's, it's doing beautiful now. So I spoke with her and she actually thinks that because I feed layer crumble and all these things that are high in calcium for my hens, that he might be overloaded with calcium and not being able to process it, which is causing pretty much like kidney failure. So I switched up his food just yesterday. I switched food. I put different vitamins in his water and we're gonna see how that goes. So I've made a few adjustments and we're gonna see if we see improvements. I've got a couple other chicken updates for you guys. So hopefully you don't mind following along before we head over to the farm. So gosh, it's been like a couple months now. I got some bantam chickens, which are pretty much like mini chickens. And the home they came from, they had a bantam rooster that unfortunately passed away right before I got them. So I have been on the search for a bantam rooster. They are separated from the other hens, so there shouldn't be any issues there. And I finally got him and he is adorable. So let me show you our new bantam rooster. There he is. His name is Roscoe. I'll have to try to get a close up of him. Oh my gosh, isn't he adorable? He's got all these speckled colors. He's got feathers on his feet. He's got a rooster crow that sounds like he's on helium. What you doing, Roscoe? So there he is, I got my little banty rooster and he's been a gentleman. So I think he's gonna be great. Great little addition. Okay, and my next big news, which I'm sure will catch nobody by surprise, I got chicks. I put Bo in the pen with the girls, and here's Mama. I lock her in this little dog crate at night, just little double protection. But there she is, and I've got nine chicks in here with her. So there's the chick food. There's water with some pebbles. That way the chicks don't get stuck in there. And there's her food. Oh, there's one. So I got three different breeds um, and I'd have to double check what they are. Oh my gosh, look at them. There they all come. She's happy. It was a little rough at the start. I didn't do a good job at like kind of preparing everything. I kind of just went for it, um, which this is only my second time having chicks. So it took her about a day, took her about a day to get used to them, but now she's really good. Yeah, so I got six in there that will lay brown eggs and three that will lay blue. And then I actually picked up three other chicks that will lay green olive eggs but uh they're a little bit older like these chicks i got as day old the ones that i have in the brooder i think i got like probably like five days and she just would not take them so i have them in a brooder that i built very last minute but it's okay all right i'm gonna do my morning chores here with the chickens and we're gonna head to the farm All the little pieces. The big thing is going to be have one to paint on and one to hang them on, you know? Yeah. I think everyone's going to be disappointed in the color, the color choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So this is the carry-all and we're hanging all the smaller pieces in the carry-all and that way he can, well, Vicente or me, I might try to paint them. And next we're gonna put the frame, the disc frame up here. It makes it a little bit easier to paint. Rain, what do you think? She gets cold so I put this coat on her and then she acts like she's abused. You're a silly dog. Getting the frame up. Just about got everything hung up. I'm gonna start painting pretty soon. I was hoping to work out in the vineyard today, but the wind really picked up and I can't spray in the wind. So you guys are probably gonna hear it, the wind. So I don't have anything to block it on my phone or my GoPro in fact. Um, but everything is looking really good and the grow tubes, we are taking them off, which looks so much better. And when I say we, it has been a family effort. My mom and my grandma have been doing like two rows a day. It's been like their morning workout, which is just like, I'm so, it's just like so sweet that they're spending their time doing that. And my dad has helped. So we're getting the rows done when we have some free time. They just look so much nicer without those grow tubes. But even my berms are looking good. Um, a few people have been asking what I've been spraying or what I'm going to spray. I have one that's gonna be burning down any small weeds. And then I'm also spraying a pre-emergent, which all those weeds that let go like a million seeds, um, hopefully the pre-emergent will get those seeds and prevent them from even growing. So like I said, it's windy. I can't spray in this, but it does look like this afternoon or this evening, the wind's supposed to calm down, so I might try to get out here and run my tractor with lights for the very first time. It's funny because so many vineyard people work in the dark, and we never really work in the dark, so that'll be something new. But uh, we're going to work on painting the disc today, and we'll see where I get this afternoon, possibly spring. What do you think? Okay. It's good. It's good? Yep. If you need me to do something, just tell me. Yeah. I have my gloves too. I wish I could like... The bottom's gonna be the hard part. Rust? Oh, the rocks. Do you want um, a piece of cardboard to kneel on? So yeah, we're painting everything yellow. Okay, so we are out here. We're gonna pull some more grow tubes off, which you can't really see, but there's a little bit. Some of these rows have gotten like half done. And yeah, so you can see them down there. So we're just gonna start pulling them off. 
waste a little time and get our workout in. Yeah, I'm gonna set my timer right now. And we're able to follow social distancing while doing this. That's the most important thing. All right, let's do it. All right, I am sorry about the wind, guys. I have been jumping around between helping paint the disc and working in the vineyard. I'm really lucky that this time of year, we don't actually have too much other stuff going on, but pretty soon we are gonna start working ground for corn. But Vicente is doing a beautiful job at painting the disc and I have been tearing off boxes. And also they started putting out the cross arms for these top ones here. So I'm gonna show you guys those cross arms and what they'll be doing. So they drive a little tractor with a trailer and they toss them out, which makes it a lot easier. Here they are. This is a 36 inch cross arm. And as you can see, every other stake is tall. So these I think are 24, these little ones. And these taller ones are gonna be going up like that. After they get those cross arms up, there will be a wire exactly just like this that the vine is on. And my vine won't be trained on that wire, but there's certain times of the year where there's a lot of fruit and it starts getting heavy and they'll actually tuck the vines up on that wire so it kind of has um, a little bit more strength and it also keeps air flowing through the vineyard and through the grapes um, which helps prevent mold and things like that so that's going to be the next step to get those cross arms up in those wires i'm really excited things are shaping up okay everything's painted how about that doesn't it look like new? Look at all the little bugs stuck to it. Dang bugs ruining Vicente's nice paint job. Everything looks brand new. He got two coats on it. My dad just said he used a half a gallon of paint. The next step is going to be putting it all back together. So I'm trying to finish spraying. You can hear my sprayer running in the background because I'm mixing the tank, but it's been windy. So it's supposed to get calm tonight. So I think I'm gonna try to come back tonight. I don't have that much left to spray. I have not been filming all my spraying because it's just been like kind of go, go, go. But I'm gonna try to come back tonight and get it done. We shall see. All right, it is to hold my watch on. I think it's like seven o'clock and it is super calm. So I'm gonna get my tractor started, get my sprayer on, and I think I can finish spraying tonight. So wish me luck. We have to spray when there's almost no wind and we get wind a lot. So I was hoping that the wind was gonna go down tonight and my mom texted me, said it's super calm. It's hard to tell at my house because it's an orchard, but she said it was calm and it is. So I don't have too many rows left. I'll try to get a little video. I didn't even grab my GoPro on the way out, so I'm just winging it with my phone. I'll do my best, but I'm happy that hopefully I can get this done. Oak trees are slowly starting to get green again. Not a bad way to end the day. I've got to get used to spraying in the dark, which it's not dark out by any means, but it does seem like a lot of vineyard work happens in the evenings. So I got to get used to it. I got to adjust my sleep schedule. I like to go to bed at nine and wake up at four. <laughs> so I got to start doing the other way around where I could stay up all night like my husband. I don't know how he does it. Being able 
able to do two rows instead of one is seriously a game changer. It is so nice to be spraying with a two row sprayer because before I broke an arm off. A broken arm off my sprayer. <laughs> and uh, I only can spray one row at a time and that takes a long time. Even though it's twice as fast, it feels so much faster. Got all my lights on now. I've tested them out, but this is the first time I'm using them. Pretty good. And there's lights in the back, so I can see my sprayer really good. Make sure everything's working. All right, as you can see, <laughs> you can't see anything. Well, if you guys wanted to know, I finished. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying my channel. Today was just a little bit of everything. This is life on the farm. You never know what's gonna happen, but we got a lot done today and I will see you guys next time.